Morning, ups and downs. It was relatively flat today. With us now is our senior business correspondent, Ali Velshi, to give us a guidepost on where the financial markets are now, what that means to us. And Ali, um, first, break it down for yeah. us. How, how this Senate bailout package is different from what failed to pass the House. There are three major differences that you need to think about between this bill and the one that failed the House. The first one is we've talked about this for a couple nights. The uh, increase in the limit that your deposits are insured at in banks from 100000 to 250000 raising the FDIC insurance cap to 250000 designed largely to help small businesses who need to keep more money in banks, but also psychologically to let people know your money is safe in a bank. Also, this FDIC FDIC money comes out of an insurance fund. Uh, this bill has a provision to allow the FDIC an unlimited amount of money from the U.S. Treasury to insure those bills. Second thing, uh, th that's the same sort of related point. The second thing are tax cuts for individuals, including an extension of the alternative minimum tax exclusions. This is stuff that was typically, typically going to happen. So a lot of the stuff that is being cut here, and this is why this is more pleasing to some Republicans and Democrats, were things that were already going to happen with a few extra sweeteners to convince some Congress Congress members to, uh, to come over and vote for this. The third thing is some taxes for businesses, some tax cuts for businesses, including uh, tax cuts that encourage spending on alternative energy. These are also things that were being talked about, but they've been added to this bill to convince people that uh, there's a reason to, to vote for this. Now, we are unsure as to what the added value of some of these additions are. Uh, they may be somewhere up uh, above $100 billion, but the $700 billion bailout package is essentially exactly the same bailout pack package that uh, that failed on Monday. And, and Ali, uh, market's pretty flat today, I know, but a lot of members of Congress obviously hoping we're going to see uh, a, a spike, um, or certainly Wall Street responding well, well after tonight. As you and I have talked about, Wall Street's almost a sideshow to the credit markets that are frozen up. We know that they are freezing further. Overnight lending rates between banks have shot up again. AT&T today reporting that it is finding it impossible to raise money for longer than overnight. They need the short-term money for 30 days or 60 days. They have not been able to raise it. So we understand these credit markets are tightening up. And even though the Dow was largely flat today, it actually was down a lot and came back at the end of the day on the anticipation that we might have a you, deal. If they pass uh, the Senate version tonight, does that do anything to no. the credit ver it, They want to see, uh, I, they I, see the whole deal done. The question that you asked, Jessica, is exactly the question Wall Street wants to know. Will this get through the House? All right. Allie Belshi for us. Allie, I know you're sticking around. we got a lot yeah. more.